What's going on guys, King Shrats here back in the video on the channel and today we are trying the Grand Lux Cafe. You don't know what the Grand Lux Cafe is, it is actually owned by the Cheesecake Factory. It's a subsidiary, so there are only 14 of them in the United States. Yes, I did check and luckily for me, one of them happens to be in Paramus, New Jersey. Have I eaten here before? Yes, even on this very channel. But we are spinning back to all of the franchise chain restaurants. I want to try a burger from each place and then try a couple of entrees and see if these places are W's or L's. I'm going to be honest with you. This one was a pretty easy situation for me because I used to eat here all the time. And if you like Cheesecake Factory, the menus are very similar. They are not exactly the same, but they are very similar. There are some things you will find in this menu that you will not find on the Cheesecake Factory's menu and vice versa. But I've been eating here for years, so I did get one of my favorite dishes. And we're going to try some new stuff I never had before, and away we go. So like, subscribe, thumbs up, you know, all that cringy YouTube stuff, but I'm not going to hold y'all. Let's get into this video. I'm going to start off with the appetizers, which are here and here. We have an order of the buffalo chicken egg rolls and an order of their Asian nachos. Now, this appetizer, I swear to you, me and the boys used to go here almost every weekend. We would go for brunch or we would go, I don't know, it sounds weird, like dudes going for brunch, but like we would go shopping at the mall. Shut up, bro. I know y'all, listen, okay, we was like 20. <laughs> so we would go to the mall and then we would always hit up the Grand Lux because it's located inside of a mall. So we always got these Asian nachos and I, I just, I've had them once in the channel, but I haven't had them since. But let me show you what it is. It's a crispy fried wonton, right? And it's got like this wasabi glaze as well as some soy, some chicken. There's some rice that comes with it that nobody else ate besides me when it was at the table and there's some green onions and it's like like peanut saw so just listen let me i hope this isn't like it feels like it's still crispy just be as good as it used to be this is good as it used to be yep You can't get better appetizers from chain restaurants than what the, what transpires in this bowl. I've always loved these. Got that crispy wonton right there. Do I have my silverware? I'm gonna get a little bit of this rice too. Let me get a little bit of this rice. I, I always eat this rice. People like don't eat it and not just be sitting there eating it because I eat everything on, on You put it on a plate at my restaurant with me, I'm eating it. It's good, bro. It's not the best rice, but when you mix it with the sauce and all that other stuff, get it on here, mm-hmm, and you come back in for a wonton, right, and then you come back in like this, and you put a little bit on there, right, put a little bit on. That takes me back right there. Time. Reminds me of the times when I didn't have a mustache and life was a lot more simple. I'm trying to spell out these flavors for you, but I'm having a little bit of loss of words. The first thing you're going to get is a heavy soy based flavor, which, if it was alone, would be way too overpowering because it's strong. But as you chew into it more and you get a little bit of that wasabi, and the peanut sauce, it just like mixes together perfectly. And that's when you've got yourself a W. Now, if you do have a peanut allergy, every time I ever got this, they always said, make sure, like, you have peanut allergy? I'm like, nah, I'm good, just bring me to play. But they do their due diligence because the peanut is strong with that one. My only gripe about this would be if you happen to get them on a bad day. It's happened to me before, but not today. And you get them on a bad day, they don't give you enough of the wasabi sauce. And you're gonna tell me it's too salty. So, I'm forewarning you about that. But the chicken is decent quality. It doesn't taste frozen, which you don't really get that from the Grand Lux. The price point, I believe, for this is like $15, which is decent for an appetizer these days. 
and they do give you a lot of it, as you can see, because I've eaten like five, and I'm still big chilling over here, but this is one of my favorite chain restaurant appetizers, which there aren't really that many until we spin back to these, and this is going to be hard to beat when I'm ranking appetizers, just keep it at a full stack, so it's not perfect, but no chain restaurant's going to be perfect, but this is as good as it gets for me appetizer wise this is a 9.6 out of 10 again this is a chain restaurant scale i do not rate everything on the same scale sometimes people think my ratings are too high because they don't realize what i'm doing but when it comes to chain restaurants this is as good as it gets for me i get this every single time and it never fails i'm trying not to eat it but i'm taking one more bite i'm allowed to i didn't eat for two days yes these just look really good i don't really have an explanation for them other than I wanted to try them. So we got some buffalo chicken egg rolls. The breading on these just looked really good when I saw the picture. That's a big reason. There's just buffalo chicken inside of here. I don't need to describe it. I know what buffalo chicken is by now. Blue cheese. This is blue cheese? Can y'all see that? That is some above average blue cheese dressing. And for anybody saying it's ranch, I'm literally biting a blue cheese crumble right now. Don't, just don't, okay? I, so there's always that one person that's like, oh, you know, maybe it's ranch. No. Mm -mm. I know what blue cheese tastes like. I've been fat for years. <laughs> Alright. But in all seriousness, if you know anything about how Cheesecake Factory kind of does their thing, and I'm saying Cheesecake Factory because there's a lot more familiarity with the general people that have never had Grand Lux, you know that they're breading. Like, y'all know this right here. Y'all know what I'm talking about, too. Don't look around. Y'all know this hits. Obviously, you got to like buffalo sauce, but... They really don't be missing. ton of chicken in here it's fresh chicken chicken and bright nice and crispy the dressing is definitely scratch made that includes the buffalo sauce because it's literally separating there's not much to say about that other than if you know you know you know what buffalo tastes like. And I find that enjoyable. They don't miss, man. One more bite, one more bite, one more bite. They don't miss with their apps, bro. They just never miss. Okay? Do y'all see that blue cheese? Big crumble right there? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Again, I'm not the biggest fan of buffalo, but when it's done right... I still very much enjoy it. 8.5 out of 10. But let's get into the Big Booty Burger. This is a wood-grilled barbecue burger. Their burger menu, compared to a lot of places, it was pretty basic. Like, they had a drive-in burger, a bacon cheeseburger, this, which is a wood-grilled barbecue burger, which is a bacon cheeseburger with an onion ring on it. And I think they had, like, a patty melt. That's pretty much the extent of it. But from what I remember when I had their burgers before, they are good. I got mine medium. Big booty burger. Look at look at this burger. This thing is a... I don't even know how... Y'all know I'm going to fit this. It don't even matter. But it's got applewood smoked bacon, cheddar cheese, tempura onion rings, mustard, and barbecue sauce. That is all that's on this burger. You can get pickles if you want to, but if you're new to the channel, we don't do that here. Bro, you don't even like pickles? No, I don't. Okay? I'm, okay, the, it's cooked medium. It's supposed to be cooked medium. That's not my grape. Hold on a second.
I think I, I became a little bit of a burger snob. I'm not gonna lie to you. Everything else about this burger bangs, right? The onion ring on top, tempura fried, crispy, love it. Bacon, thick cut, applewood, love it. Barbecue sauce, tangy, a little bit of flavor to that, love it. Cheddar, not gonna go wrong with that. And there is a bit of mustard kick on the bottom that I'm getting on the bottom of the palate because I can see it's on the underside of the bun. But if, if that, you, like, that burger, the burger itself is mid. But everything else just kind of hides the fact that it's a, it's a mid burger. I'm not going to lie to you. Applebee's burger was better than this. I can't believe I'm saying that. Hold on now. The burger itself If I was to get their drive-in burger, which is just like a classic cheeseburger, I would have been disappointed as all hell. Because not just the, the blandness of it, no, not even salt pepper, but even the overall texture, I don't know what it is, it's just missing something. Now, don't get me wrong, it's still a good burger, but it's being hard carried by everything else that's on here. I just call them like I see them. Never thought I'd say this, but Applebee's burger was better. This particular burger would be probably the best one, just looking at their options that I would pick. So this particular burger, I would give a six and a half. If I got a plain burger, this would probably be like a three, bro. I, I'm, I'm almost in shock. This burger was $18. Tasty your burger at Applebee's. Even better. But this bacon, it, it's worth three points alone. Love me some thick cut bacon, bro. But that is a disappointment. Holy blend. Also, they have some fries in here as well. Oh, that is not going to hit They didn't even try. Before the fry police come for me and tell me that's because the fries are cold, I eat cold fries on this channel all the time. McDonald's has better fries than this. That tastes like a frozen french fry. And from a place like this, it's like a frozen french fry with not even salt on it. From a place like this, their burgers and fries are, are actually like Red Robin had better. I, I never thought I'd say that, but th this might so far of the ones I've done, which I think this is the third place way we've gone to, is the worst. Never thought I'd say that. But we move. The fries, one out of ten. And last, in the WTF meal of the day, we got Cajun chicken and shrimp jambalaya. Yes, I got jambalaya from, from Grand Lux. I don't know. I just wanted to see. Matter of fact, I've had jambalaya pasta from Cheesecake Factory, which kind of banged. I said, you know what? Let's risk it for the biscuit and try something that you normally wouldn't get from this place. Big pieces of shrimp in here. Looks like there's a pretty decent amount of sauce. Peppers, onions. Um, I'm trying to be nice. Let's just, let's just get it. Here. Nah, I need a pepper in here, bro. Big ass peppers. I'm searching for something nice to say. Look, I am... I'm not from from Louisiana. Okay? Definitely not from New Orleans. But I've had my fair share. 
I don't know who signed off on this. I really don't. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna let's 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 come on. Silver lines. I didn't even try to shrimp that. Maybe maybe the shrimp will help. It's it's mid mid. Yeah. I'll put it this way. For those who like to make a lazy man's jambalaya, you can go to the store and get the box from certain places. I can see it now. It's got a red box. It's a white box with the red. But the writing is in white. It's better than this. Also, someone can correct me if I'm wrong, but the majority of jambalayas I have ever seen are one pot dishes where it's not served with white rice. Like, I'm not, am I crazy? Maybe there's other versions that I don't know about, but this is these big, it's not, it's, it's not, it's not. If you've never had anything like this, you might think it's okay. It's not, it's okay. It's not what you're looking for. If you think this is jambalaya, then you haven't had jambalaya. That's more accurate. I mean, the chicken isn't dry. The shrimp isn't overcooked. Like, it's edible. But it's not, like, I think this is like $23. I would never pay $23 for this. I'm just being real about that. So, on an is it edible scale, like, you probably bump it up to like, a, like because there's nothing wrong with the cooking of it. But, but other than that, like, this sucks. I'm just being real. $23, just, we tried to risk it for the biscuit, and boy, do we fall flat. Because that right there is a 2 out of 10. It's not, it's not, it's not bringing in the points. So, overall, I know Grand Lux is a W. But, from what I got today, only two out of the four things that I got were good. And, I don't think Cheesecake Factory has that problem. Like, I don't think I've had a miss from the Cheesecake Factory. I gotta try a Cheesecake Factory burger, because that burger sucks. I don't know what the hell, I, I, had, the, I had Cheesecake Factory's Cajun, listen, the ratings are the ratings. It is what it is. I can't take back and I take back. You know, people say that I'm too nice sometimes, and but I, I, for me, I've always been honest about certain stuff. And this was of the probably 30 to 40 times I've gone to Grand Lux Cafe in the last, I don't know, 10 or so years. This was probably the most disappointing one that I've had. But again, I tried new stuff. Sometimes you you miss on new stuff, and that is what that is. But the Asian nachos are still a W. And I do know that there's some bangers on that menu, though. Most of their pastas are really good, but and their appetizers, for the most part, that I've had are really good. But that, I might as well took $23 and just lit it on fire. <laughs> that's not it. But that's why we do these things. I just didn't think that it would fall flat the way that it did. But that's why we, this is why you play the game. This is what it is. But I said, but 46 times. That's only because I'm trying to rush y'all because the Celtics are still on right now. I'm gonna be honest with y'all. Okay, I still. I, Still, still haven't gotten to sit down with a bag of Jason Tatum's yet. So I've been sick. But this is what we do. Y'all know the vibes, man. I hope y'all enjoyed. We'll be back tomorrow. More content. I love y'all. The hand signs, they made it to YouTube.